can we come up there? Now that we know how large the croc was, Dr. Greg Erickson can finally estimate the power of its monstrous bite. It is of a magnitude equal to that of a T-Rex. When we're talking about a 15,000 pound bite force, we're, we're talking about twice what any living crocodile could do. To demonstrate this crushing power, they will use the skull of an adult cow to see how it might fare in an attack. Well, yeah, pretty sciencey. Yeah. I suspect that a crocodile that could generate 15,000 pounds of bite force could pretty much crush uh, just about any animal it got a hold of. We've got a cattle skull here, and we're going to take a mechanical loading frame. This is a device that engineers use to test the strength of, uh, of structures and materials. We'll also be taking the data, of, and we'll get a force displacement curve. And from that, we can see when the structure started failing. You now it's still hitting. It's hitting on this side. So we've got to watch it tilting. They're going to exert 15,000 pounds of pressure on this cow skull second only to an elephant skull in strength. A little bit, yeah, I think it, I think it went. So we're ready to conduct our test. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> you ready, Bob? Ready. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it. Oh my gosh, wow! <laughs> Just blew it up. Amazing. Wow, how much force? 3,000 pounds. The skull is obliterated when just a fraction of the ancient croc's ferocious power is applied. I feel like I'm crawling through the wreckage here. <laughs> so that was a demonstration of just 3,000 pounds of force. So. <laughs> Imagine five times that. I mean, it, this thing was one of the ultimate killing machines. Oh my gosh, wow! We now know the croc's bite force was of a magnitude not seen since the age of dinosaurs. I don't think any animal in this, uh, in this creature's realm was, was safe. I mean, this is a dangerous creature. Goodness. Yeah, that definitely broke that thing. That's bite force. 